Welcome back to a quick little video about an assignment, this time assignment 11. In assignment 11, you're gonna use Yelp. Okay, for this assignment, you'll you need to use the Yelp AZ 2018 JSON file in the CMS that we use in um, lessons 13.1 and 13.2. Like I mentioned, those lessons, it's a big file at um, about 83 megabytes. So it'll take a bit of time to download. This data set contains almost 120,000 um, 120, reviews written in 2018 about businesses in Arizona. These reviews are taken from a larger data set of 8.2 million reviews and a file of 4.4 gigabytes uh, made available by Yelp for a recent data challenge. You can see past winners. Let's see if this is still good. Yeah, past winners here and, and what they've done. These are like, teams of programmers. These aren't individual people sitting in their dorm room trying to hammer something out. These are big, massive teams of, of uh, but you can see winners there. This time you're gonna identify two linguistic features that you believe are correlated with the number of stars a business receives. Be creative and use linguistic features you haven't yet looked at this semester. Okay, just be, be creative. And, and you know, this is the final homework assignment. So just go ahead and Try something cool with linguistic features, uh, a linguistic feature. Your program should create a CSV file with three columns and that many rows, almost 120,000 rows, one row for each review in the sample data set. Right, column A will be the number of stars. Column B will be the number of occurrences of linguistic feature one in the current review. And column C will be the number of um, occurrences of linguistic feature two. On a given row in uh, the CSV file, the stars column should give the number of stars the current review has. And N feature one should give the number of times the first linguistic feature has and the second one. There you go, like I just said. When imported into the spreadsheet software, uh, the CSV file should look something like this, right? Two, three columns, stars, and then two linguistic features. Next, your program or a different PY file if you like. Um, should do the following, read back into Python your CSV as a pandas data frame. So as I show in, in lesson 13.2, uh, you, um, you'll need to use pandas to do this. Pandas is a package or a module in, in Python that, that um, has a data frame structure. It's called a data frame, which is a tabular data set with columns and rows like an Excel table. So you'll need that, read it back into Python as a pandas data frame, and then uh, run a Pearson R correlation test and create uh, two scatter plots with the regression line, one for each of the linguistic features that you examine. And then you write a report in which you interpret the results, which feature, if any, correlates with number of stars, in which direction, positive or negative correlation, why do you think this happens? Do the results confirm or disconfirm or disprove what you thought would be the case, your hypothesis? Also take a sample of a data set, 20 or so reviews and measure precision recall of the regular expression you use to find the linguistic features. Report those measurements uh, for each linguistic feature. And you're gonna turn into the CMS a zip file with your PY file that does the work or perhaps two PY files if you choose to write two different ones, it's fine to write one. And the CSV file that your program creates and then your report in the BOCX, that report also has your precision recall on a small sample of about 20 reviews. Okay, so this is very much like we, what we did in this uh, lesson 13.2. So if you need to review 13.2 to get this, this homework done, you should do so. Okay, so that is a quick little preview of, uh, of assignment 11 and how I'd approach it. As always, I'm super happy to help. Please come into my office hour if you like. See ya.